project definitely would have been a little easier with a little more time. Kind of strapped for time leaving uh, Sunday. So our goal is to have everything done and completed by tomorrow, uh, which it's going to happen. So that's, uh, that's the gist of things. We, t we had two smaller houses and we're combining them, which is one of the pluses about our design is we took two houses and put them together because the need was a bigger facility. So which one's Jay and Ann's house and one's another house uh, we donated. Luckily we have matching paints, it's gonna be one color, not two. <laughs> what I'm doing is how we put these the four joists together. It's called banding. This is a bander, this is strapping, it's made out of stainless steel so it won't rust. I don't know if you can you can get in here or not. We've got uh, the black anchors, which we'll show you later. Uh, they're screwed all the way into the ground with a bolt ran through it this way. Nuts on each side, and this banding runs through it. And this is what holds the to the ground. We don't need this because it's not it's not caving in. Okay, see how it's solid on this one side. This is what you put on the other side to make it solid, but see, it's not touching. Uh -huh. Oh, you're strapping that to the helical anchor. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, and what I did over here is, well, I haven't done that one yet. Right there. We strapped them together. You can get a good you know, view of this right here, because you didn't get to see this on the other one. Band it here, <laughs> tilt it sideways. That holds these together. So that way they don't separate. Gotcha. Then we'll put plywood on top of it, screw in, that'll also hold it together and it's not going anywhere. 